So, Nintendo can't seem to let go of the 35th anniversary of Mario, which is totally fine. I'm okay with the celebration extending into this year. Obviously, we knew like Mario 35 and other games would be available, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, sadly, until March 31st. So, we knew about, obviously, 3D World coming on February 12th as well. So, yeah, we got a new trailer for Bowser's Fury. I did a reaction. You can check out up here. But that's besides the point. There is actually three other major announcements, including a new Switch console. Like, a fully customized Switch console that's a different color. Like, literally, all the other custom ones that have still been black with a little bit of art on the back plate. This is different. Nintendo is color scheming Switches now. This is... What? Now, the one caveat, obviously, is I feel like because Nintendo's still extending out the 35th anniversary, well, that means that the Zelda 35th celebration is going to come late. Uh, Zelda's 35th anniversary is February 21st. So, they're clearly not going to be celebrating the Zelda anniversary on the release date of Zelda because they're still pushing Mario. But that's okay! Before we get into this, though, I am giving away a Nintendo Switch a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X. Details down in the description or comment, pinned comment to enter. All right, let's get into this. Uh, and whew, we got a lot to talk about. Three major things. First up, as you're going to see here, we have uh, the Mario 30, uh, 35 World Count Challenge is announced. All right, so Nintendo announced a new World Count Challenge for Super Mario Bros. 35. Let's read this. It says, in addition to new details about the adventure that awaits in Bowser's Fury, Nintendo has also announced the Super Mario Bros. 35 World Count Challenge, a special event for Super Mario Bros. 35 game in which players from all over the world can work together to try to complete goals during a set period of time. A Nintendo Switch Online membership offers access to the competitive online battle game Super Mario Bros. 35 for fans looking for a twist on a classic challenge. Players can put their Mario skills to the test during Mario's 35 World Count Challenge, which will be held three times from January to March. To achieve the goal to the first Super Mario Bros. 35 World Count Challenge, players must work together to defeat 3.5 million Bowsers during the event period, which runs from 11 p.m. Pacific Time on January 18th to 11.59 Pacific Time on January 25th. In addition to the 35-player battle mode in which players can defeat Bowser as part of the regular gameplay, the special battle that week will feature courses with additional opportunities to battle with Bowser. During the event period, if the number of total Bowsers defeated in the game by players around the world uh, rises to 3.5 million individual players who defeat at least one Bowser will be eligible to receive 350 my Nintendo Platinum points. Additional details about the next World Count Challenge takes place in February and March to be revised in the future. So really, really cool. Nintendo PR sent that out. Shout out to uh, Nintendo Everything. Links to all this stuff down in the comments below. Uh, next up, we have... Hey, look, there's wave two of rewards that are happening available through April 1st. So first up, you still get another entry into the My Nintendo Super Mario Bros. Sweepstakes Wave 2. Uh, so you enter into this. Uh, grand prize winner gets the first four figures. Super Mario Dash Mario Yoshi Definitive Edition Statue. Uh, that's what you're seeing up in here. Jack specific. It's a me Mario 12-inch action figure. Actually, I think that's what that is right there. Um, you get all these different t-shirts. Uh, first prize winner gets the Lego Entertainment System, which is really, really cool. Uh, you know, obviously you see the Mario Legos here. A whole bunch of stuff here. Details on this. I'll have this down in the description uh, for you to enter. Uh, so that's really cool. Here we got, though, another wave of those super ultra collectible Super Mario Bros. pin set. Remember how hard it was to get the pin set the first time around? Well, you have a second chance to get it. So... My Nintendo members who complete the purchase of Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game mission and 14 additional eligible Mario themed missions before they expire will be eligible to receive a limited edition set of commemorative Super Mario Bros. pins while supplies last. Set includes Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario, 3, Super Mario Galaxy, New Super Mario Bros. U, Super Mario 3D World, and Super Mario Odyssey. 15 eligible missions, including the purchase of Super Mario 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury game, must be completed to receive the pins. Pin sets are available in limited quantities. Codes for the pins will be distributed after the launch of the game. So there's a look at the pins. Really, really cool. They're doing a second run. Uh, good luck. It was so hard to get them the first time around. 
But you know what's also going to be hard to get? Maybe the biggest announcement out of everything today. Even bigger than the new trailer for Bowser's Fury, if you can believe it or not. Look at this. Nintendo is launching a new Nintendo Switch alongside, alongside whew, Bowser's Fury. This Switch right here is not only obviously Mario themed and comes with a case. Take a look at the dock. For starters, the dock is red. First time Nintendo's ever changed the color of the dock. First time Nintendo's ever changed the color of the grips. Uh, but, uh, or, or whatever, I forget what this is called again. Uh, but look at the color of the system. Nintendo has never changed the color of Nintendo Switch before, making this ultra collectible. All right, let's, let's look at some, some more pictures here. Uh, the harbor features a red and blue colored scheme in honor of Mario's iconic outfit. It comes with a red Joy-Con controllers with blue straps, blue Joy-Con grip, that's what it is, Joy-Con grip, and a red Switch dock and a red Switch system. A stylized Mario red and blue edition carrying case and a screen protector marks the first time the Switch system itself will be available in a new color. Pricing of the Switch system is set for $2.99. Uh, it's not available to pre-order at this time. Let's just take a look at this so you can see. Here's kind of another look here. Um, looks really nice, to be honest. You know, zooming in on this, looks looks nice. It's kind of interesting they left the black kickstand though, right? You know, they could have. It would have been cool if they would have made this like the blue. You know, throw a little blue accent in there. That would have been neat. You know, and if they would have put the blue accent on the buttons. I don't know, Nintendo. I'm just saying, if you're gonna customize it, why not go all out? But still, this is gonna be ultra, ultra collectible. Let's take a look at another picture here. Um, here's, here's another one of it, like in a dock situation. I mean, it looks good. There's no doubt that's a Mario system. But see how it doesn't have any of the Mario logos? It's subtle. You'd only know that it's Mario if you're into Mario. Otherwise, you're like, man, I got a red and blue Switch. Oh, right, look at this red Switch. If you really like red, oh, this is the Switch for you, let me tell you. Uh, and I believe this is just that. Oh, no, here we go. This is a look at what it looks like uh, when it's in the holder there. Obviously, red, blue, looks slick, looks sick, looks awesome, and kudos to you, Nintendo. Uh, you just gave me a reason to want to buy another Switch. Like, literally, I was debating on getting one of my kids a Switch. Well, I'm probably going to buy this Switch for me, and they can have my old Switch, especially since they beat the hell out of my old Switch. Hey, have that. I'll take the Mario one. Now, knowing my luck... Now that they're doing this, they're going to release a Zelda-colored one this year. And I'm just going to freak out. Freak out! <laughs> but this is really cool. Um, kudos to Nintendo. Uh, they're, they're continuing to push the 35th anniversary of Mario. They're going to milk this bad boy till it can't be milked anymore. And then they're going to give us the Zelda 35th. And then they're going to milk that till they can't milk it anymore. And then they're going to give us uh, maybe the Metroid 35th. They don't always celebrate the Met Metroid's anniversary, to be completely honest. Maybe they'll give us at least the, the, the trilogy of uh, Metroid Prime games. That'd be great. And then, obviously, Donkey Kong's 40th is coming up. And I think it's ripe. It's ripe for a Donkey Kong 40 game, just like Mario 35. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about these three announcements, especially the console one. That's the one I'm most excited about. It's also gonna be the hardest one to get your hands on because I highly doubt this is gonna be a standard system they're gonna make available for a long time. Like we saw with the Animal Crossing one, they brought it back. They never said they wouldn't bring it back, but they brought it back and it became quite easy to get one. I don't know that that's gonna be the case with this one because of it's a different color, not just different face plates or, or specialized Joy-Cons. I think you're gonna see that this is gonna be a very limited quantity that might only be around through the 31st, like everything else for the 35th anniversary, which is clearly, hey, once we get to March 31st, we're done with Mario 35, which I think that's when we can move on to Zelda's 35th anniversary, even though we're skipping the actual 35th anniversary. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Nathaniel Robert Jess from the Center Prime. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video.